Your skin is the first line of defense to protect your body. It is also your first line of communication into the heavens and here on earth. So how are you feeding your skin? What you feed your body is likened to what you feed your soul. What you place on your skin will affect the energy surrounding you and within. There are a lot of generic skincare products on the market today that continue to harm our connection to us and the universe. I mean, the skin directly lets us know when something is wrong immediately through breakouts, flare-ups, whatever the case may be. And a lot of these skincare products are not only inhibiting our ability to be able to communicate with ourselves, but it's also making the problem a lot worse. Ladies, it is of great importance that you take these matters seriously. What you put on your skin has a tremendous effect on who you are and how you interact with the world. Ultimately, it is up to us to make the difference and we have to start by taking small steps in our everyday behaviors concerning our own well-being and how we decide to treat ourselves. So the first thing that people I feel are not very aware of is that you don't really need to buy primer. You can use aloe vera. Aloe vera is an amazing primer. It gets on your face and it just pretty much sticks to any makeup or the makeup sticks to the aloe vera, any kind of makeup that you put on. Um, it holds it there just like any primer would so I usually like using the juice aloe vera because it's much smoother but I went ahead and just went outside and picked a piece of aloe vera off of my aloe vera plant and spread it all over my face the aloe vera plant can be a little bit clumpy but it still works just as well So the majority of products I'll be using on this video will be Laws of Nature. This is the Foxy Finish Cream to Powder Foundation and I'm using the color Almond to go ahead and just cover up any imperfections, blemishes, whatever. Um, this product is fragrance free, paraben free, vegan and dimethicone free. And the key ingredients is coconut oil, rosehip extract, and chamomile extract. Um, the package also comes included with a sponge that's latex free, but I love to use my brushes, so I went ahead and used my brushes. So here I'm just going to use my blending brush to go ahead and blend everything in, smooth everything out. I go in circular motions so that I do the least damage to my skin. So here I'm just going to begin to brush out my eyebrows. Um, I haven't gotten them done in a while. I don't think I'm going to get them done anytime soon. I'm just going to leave them bushy, you know, until I feel like doing something to them. But, you know, uh, I like them how they are, so I'm just going to brush them out. And, yeah, brush them all out like that. Then I'm going to go and define them a little bit more with the cream to powder almond. the eyebrows especially when they're bushy you usually need to define them a little bit more if they haven't already been done 
so I'm just gonna head gonna go ahead and define them and blend that right in with my handy dandy brushy brushy okay next is black minerals black minerals is one of my favorite brands for healthy organic makeup it goes on so smoothly and like it feels like you're not wearing anything when you put it on so black minerals doesn't use any paraben they don't use dimethicone and they also don't use polymer BHT formaldehyde any type of fragrances any synthetic colors so I use the pecan color to just go ahead and set my face with a base color for what I want to go up and down with my other colors with so almond is my next color and this is going to be a color I use to just do some shading and warming up the tones in my face after I use the almond cream this is another thing I love about Black Minerals. They have options for you to purchase sample colors instead of just getting a bunch of big uh, powders like the pecan powders. You can get a bunch of samples from them in different shades. And this is what I like about them. So I can use a variety of different shades on my face and most colored women have a variety of shades going on, on on their face and even for lighter women you can be much more versatile in your color shades and they're a lot more pigmented than your average darker shaded color so I'm pretty much finished with the darker tones that I will be using for my face and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying some highlights now before I do that, I always make sure I clean my brushes off before I begin a new in a new tone of color or shade on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a honey color from Black Minerals again, a sample color. And I'm gonna start off with yeah, it took forever to zoom in on the honey so I was trying to get it to zoom in but it didn't want to zoom in zoom 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 on the honey I forget about it okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the honey dab it underneath my eyes and in other areas that I would like to solidify my natural color and also be able to go in and do a little bit more highlighting and balancing of the tones on my face. Last but not least for the foundation, I am going to go in with some Golden Wheat by Laws of Nature and use that to really bring out my eyes. Also, I did forget to mention that Laws of Nature also carries samples, so you can also purchase sample colors from them in a multitude of different colors and options. Now next I'm going to be taking my organic eyeliner pencil in the smoke color and I am going to take that and go ahead and go underneath my eyes with it to 
define and give me a guideline to the shape that I want my eyes my wider uh, look or yeah more defined look so I'm going to take this ginger mineral eye pigment and I'm going to use that to go over the black eyeliner and highlight the top of the eyeliner Now I'm going to take this African Sunset and go ahead and go on top of the ginger that I just used and give it a pink accent so that it has some color to pop, make it pop. Now I'm going to take this blue eye pigment, mineral pigment, and go ahead and go below my eyes around where I did the smoke by my tear ducts and accent the bottom of my eyes blue I feel brings out brown eyes tremendously and I'm gonna take this brown sienna eye pigment and go ahead and deepen the top of my eye to make it give it a more um, subtle look and deep look so now I'm gonna take this color that has no name then I'm gonna go ahead and use it to highlight and blend in the top of the sienna that I just put there so I'm just gonna use that to blend it in now I'm going to go back and take the golden wheat from Laws of Nature and use that to just finish defining and highlighting my eyebrows. Great, so now I'm finally done with my eyes and I'm going to start on my lips with Laws of Nature Natural Brick Lipstick. Laws of Nature's lipstick is made with the ingredients of jojoba oil, beeswax, vitamin E, coconut oil, and sweet almond oil. I am very fond of their lipsticks for the main reason that it lasts for the whole entire day. You don't have to worry about your lips coming off and you having to reapply and reapply your lipstick over and over again. This lipstick stays on and I love that. So now that I did my base, I'm going to go in with some tropical pink and apply it on the inside of my lips to give it a pinkish highlight along with my eyes. And now I'm going to take this nudish pink color, Paradise and go in some more on the inside of my lips with this color to just give it a calmer hue instead of a bright and bold one just a subtle calmer hue and now i'm gonna take the plumberry this is a dark purple color and i'm just gonna go on the outside of my lips to define and shape my lips
And the last thing I'm going to do is take this apricot color, which is a goldish color, and just dab it on the top of my mouth to finish off my look. Yes, a lot of people say I'm stuck in the 90s with my lips. Well, this is true. Okay, lips are finished, and now I'm going to take this brown organic pencil and just define the ends of my eyebrows to give it more of a definite shape and the last thing I'm going to do is use the Laws of Nature mascara to give my lashes some pop now this mascara tends to dry out a little quickly so that's fine by me because this is an organic product all I do is add a little bit of oil into the product to get it to stick to my eyebrows better and not be as dry you can use any type of oil avocado oil apricot oil um don't use vegetable oil but you know a basic fruit oil will do okay last thing I'm gonna do is go in with black minerals oil control setting powder I love this product this will cause your makeup to pretty much stay on your face all day it won't go anywhere and it's made with bentonite clay Z maize kaolin clay and camel camel berry powder it works wonderfully also when applying this product please make sure you tilt your head back and let the product just fall on your face it's pretty loose but it works great Okay, now that I'm finished, I'm going to make sure that I clean my brushes so that it does not um, harbor and grow any bacteria while they're sitting for however long I decide to do my makeup again. So I go ahead and make sure I clean my brushes with some alcohol spray and a towel. Spray the towel with alcohol and just wipe your brushes off on the towel. Okay, my look is completed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I introduced you to some new products, new ways that you could um, achieve whatever look that it is that you're trying to go for. I usually apply eyelashes with my look. I didn't do the eyelashes today because I do not have my organic eyelash adhesive. But I will make sure to put all of that information in the description box. So again, thank you for watching. Until next time.